Good morning everybody, um, it's another day of vlog. It's Tuesday the 21st of May and I'm just currently sat at the train station. I've had to put my sunglasses on because I woke up a bit late so I haven't done my makeup so I'm going to have to do the makeup on the train. Um, but I'm actually on my way to Birmingham New Street uh, to meet JQ at there last night to see his family and we're going to go and check out the world's biggest Primark. I'm so excited, I just know I'm going to spend so much money. Finally found him. <laughs> so I finally found Jake. Now we're in the ball ring in Birmingham, and we're gonna go see the new Primark. I'm so excited. You gotta love freebies in the street. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. when you walk in is all bikinis, holiday stuff, basic tees, tracksuits and oversized jumpers. Yeah. Also on the first floor you've got the beauty bar where you get your nails done and also jeans and the Barbie collection which I'm going to go show you. <laughs> suitcases and all the technology. Primark and it was amazing honestly you could take a day trip to that Primark because you can spend hours in there but unfortunately I'm with Jake and he didn't want to walk around the whole of it so we did a quick lap around every single um, 
the floor. I tried on some clothes and got a few things, which I'll show you in a little bit. And now we didn't want to get stuck in the Birmingham traffic leaving, but we wanted to continue shopping because I hadn't been to Lush and Jake wanted to go to the Apple store. So we decided to go to the Trafford Centre in Manchester, which means that we'll miss the Birmingham rush hour traffic because we're leaving now. And then we'll only be an hour away from home as well. So we're on our way now to the Trafford Centre. If you've never been there before, it's um, it's a massive shopping centre, all indoors, and it is incredible. It's probably the best shopping centre ever. So the drive from Birmingham to here took about one hour and 40 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. And then we're not far away from home now. Trafford Centre we were literally like in and out as quick as we can because we wanted to get back I'm just going to quickly show you what I got from Lush so I got three bath bombs so my problem with Lush is I always have these go-to bath bombs so every time I go in there I always pick up the same ones I'm always scared to try new ones because the ones I pick up are like my favourite ones ever but I did get one different one today but I'll quickly show you what I've got. So the first one I've got is the Abo Bath Bomb. I mentioned this in my last week haul or the week before. So the Abo Bath Bomb is my new favourite one so I had to pick it up. It's £3.75. It's all green. It's got an incredible like fresh smell and it's got a little bit of oil in there and I have to say this is my go-to bath bomb at the minute. Every time I go in Lush I pick up at least one of these because they're the best. I swear by it. So that's the first one I bought today. I think I just swallowed a little bit. <laughs> so the second bath bomb I picked up was my other go-to bath bomb, and that is Interla Intergalactic Bath Bomb. Um, I always pick this one up when I go in there as well. It's not my favorite, but it is one of them. So it's blue, sparkly of tie-dye, yellow and pink all around it. It's a very minty, fresh smell. So I do like that one in the morning if I was going to have a, a bath in the morning. But then it has got an incredible blue, glittery look to it when you're in the bath. So it's nice to relax to as well in the evening. But that's another go-to bath bomb because I love the smell of it and I love the colours that it makes. So that's Intergalactic Bath Bomb. My third and last bath bomb is the new one that I wanted to try so they're the two that I always go to and I thought I'm going to try one more that I've never tried before and this one is in their new collection I do believe and it's called Honey I Wash the Kids um, the reason I've went for this one is because I heard such good reviews about it online and also it does look like it's got a little bit of oil in. Now I suffer with really dry skin so I believe that um, ones with a little bit of oil in does help my skin a lot so gonna rip this open so this is bright yellow and it's got like orange rubbery bits which I believe that might be some sort of oil and it does smell nice um, it's not my favorite smell but I want to try something new so when I do try this um, I'll let you know what it is like but that is my new bath bomb that I picked up from today treated myself today um, I went into the Apple store and I bought a brand new um, MacBook Pro. So I do have a MacBook Air, which I am selling because um, it doesn't upload all my 4K videos. So I thought I'm gonna treat myself and I got myself a MacBook Pro. Um, but they sold it in the shop, so we got it delivered home. So it comes tomorrow morning. I'm so, so, so excited. I love unboxing new gadgets and stuff. But I did hear that the MacBook Pros don't have the USB ports. So I just had to buy this from Apple, um, it was £19, it just goes in the sides so I can plug in um, devices in the side of the MacBook Pro. So that was the other thing I brought, 
So I can't really show you my Blackbook Pro yet because it doesn't come till tomorrow. But as soon as that comes, I'll show that on my next week haul. Hey, so today is Wednesday and I know it's not my day off. But I just want to end the vlog here because my delivery came. So I thought I would unbox it for you guys. Um, I'm super, super excited. And it was what I ordered yesterday from the Apple Store. And it's my MacBook Pro. Um, so yeah, just thought I would unbox it with you guys. I can't get into it. <gasps> so we got the MacBook Pro 2017 in space grey. Um, oh, this colour is so nice. Oh my god! That is my MacBook Pro. I'm super excited. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed um, my day off this week. Sorry it wasn't too interesting. Um, I was so tired, so we just done as much as we could. But next week, I've got something very, 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 very exciting happening on my day off. I am going to watch the Spice Girls tour in Manchester with my friends from home. So tune in to next week where you'll get to see me at the Spice Girls tour. Um, yeah, thank you so much again for all the support. And please, if you haven't already, hit subscribe down below and also give me a cheeky like as well. And if you want to message me any ideas for any future videos, then please do. I would love to hear from you. And so thank you and I'll see you next week.